Okay, so this is going to be a useful example of how you can customize the top create button. So we have the create storage button here, which was uh, uh, it's basically a custom button. And the way that this works is that all of these buttons here, they are widgets. So if we take a look at the storage um, sub panel metadata file, which in our case is going to be in custom extension modules, name of the module, extension layout devs, and then the separate metadata file. We can see here that the top buttons, the top buttons are defined uh, in the top button section here. And each button is a separate widget class. So what I did is for my example, I used the behavior of a button called sugar widget sub panel top archive email button and this button it redirects to a new page and the way that it does it is that it actually builds up a um, a custom form so each button is a form that contains a bunch of hidden fields and when we click that button we we submit the form so that's the behavior that i liked so i took this widget then I copied it and then I basically extended the sugar widget. It's, it's like I, I took the existing file and then I modified it to my liking. So in this case, what I did is I created the custom widget inside the custom include generic sugar widgets. The name is going to be sugar widget create single storage button. I renamed the class. So the class is going to be the name of the file. So that's a very important modification. <clears throat> and then I put a bunch of hidden form values in the form. So what, what happens here actually is uh, it's composed of three parts. So the first part is we build up the hidden form values. The second part is we're going to show a grayed out button if the user is not allowed to see this button. And the third part is we build up the actual form that is going to get displayed. In my case, what I wanted the this thing to do is that I wanted it to to uh, I wanted to create a new storage unit. So I want essentially to send the user to this page here, right? I mean, to this page here instead. <clears throat> this page here has a bunch of uh, parameters at the top, right? So the module is storage module action is this return module is this return action is uh, this. So what I did is I put those values inside my form here. So this, all of these parameters are mirrored here. And when the form actually gets built up, it's going to use those parameters inside the form uh, itself. It's going to contain these hidden form field values basically. And we're returning the button that's going to get displayed. So when this part is done, what you're going to do next is that you're going to tell the system to use that new button. And the way that we do it is, uh, it's, it's an important distinction here, and I hope you're aware of this also, is that each sub panel is a miniaturized list view of that module. So this storage sub panel, this here is a miniaturized view of the storage module. And right now we were in, in what I, I would say, I would call a host module. So this host module has several sub panels in it, right? So what we're going to do is we're not going to modify the metadata, let's say like the custom metadata created for this um, sub panel inside the, the sub modules metadata folder we're going to the host module. So in, in this case, the host module, the one that shows everything is you and inventory. So this is where I'm going to change my defi definitions. So the way that I would do it, I was go I'm going to go to custom extension modules, name of my host module, extension layout devs, the name of the, um, of the sub panel. And here we have the top buttons section. So I replaced the old one with the new definition and it's widget class points to the create single storage button. So that's the widget that we created with you before. And don't forget, do not include sugar widget, include just this part here in the definition. 
then you're going to do repair and rebuild and it's going to show your new button here. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. If you found the video at all helpful, uh, please leave a like and subscribe because I'll be making more of these in the future. And one more important thing to mention is that you see just one example here, but in my case, I replicated the behavior of a button whose behavior I liked. So in your case, if you want to create a separate type of button, the one that's going to, for example, show like an inline display or the one that's going to show like a, a, a pop-up window, that's the button that you should be copying and extending from. Thank you for watching and have a great day.